uh, we will continue now the same example by adding the, the continuous jacking. So I'm going to add a member from this joint to this joint, from this joint to that joint. By default, the member added is a tapered section, 250 by 4. 25 by 5. Um, I don't really need the jack beam here, so I can remove it. Uh, I will, would prefer to add um, the code form sections, Z sections. Double click. I will select the member. CFZ. I'm going to select randomly 200Z20. Um, again, I'm going to add, let me see if we find, I'm going to add here a bracing in the middle part. Again, I'm going to change this one to a cable. HR cable is here, C12. Okay, now my model is almost ready. So I will change these section sizes. Uh, this is a continuous beam, this is middle support. So if the user wants this to be pinned, then it, it can be modeled. If he wants this to be pinned or continuous with the column, also this can be modeled. Uh, in this example, I want to assume that this jack beam is pin supported here and continuously having a continuous connection together here. So for this, these two sections, and I need randomly to select a 600 by 6, by 600, 200 by 8, and 200 by 8, and then check it can be 5, so we can see the section here, I want to change this side, as we can see when I select this side, uh, the green square will show me which point I'm I'm touching if I'm gonna select this side also the square will show me which part is the start or the end of the member so because I want to change this side I will select again and then the member here is I want to change this part to 600 by 5 by 400 200 by 8, 200 by 8, I'm going to save it, once I click on the screen it will make the changes, same thing here, uh, I need this end to become 600 by 5, by 400, 200 200 by 8 now my model is ready I think I have to change these uh, column sizes also because we have changed the direction member properties this is 400 400 Select 275 by 5 or by 6, excuse me, 175 by 6, all sides, and then my model is ready. Now, the nature of the connection between the column and the beam, I can change it to be as released or to be continuous. As we can see in this column, this column is released on MY and MZ at this end. 
connected here so the connection is pinned um, I would prefer to remove the MY same thing here I'll remove the MY if I'm gonna select different members I have to uh, press control or shift to continue selecting now my model is ready I will make the run Now we can wait for a few seconds and see the result of our structure. It's all passing, that's great, except this member here. So I have to, let me see, just check the stress. I want the detail, I want to show the result here, it's coming to 165. So probably I have to change this member, preferably to a built-up section, due to the addition of the jack beam, probably. I don't want this to be as continuous, so I'm going to remove MZ at both ends. I'm going to select this one. Z. Okay. We will try to run again and check. It's a preferably we can we can run the auto design here, but it's preferably not to not to run it in 3D. For all the cases, but of course it will uh, it will run. Uh, it has a auto design solver. Uh, G matrix very very powerful okay now it's passing we can see the structure is all passing no red colors it means that my structure now is safe with the continuous jack beam I can make this jack beam work as a portal. Uh, I can make changes in the model. So if I will want to remove MZ, I want to keep this as continuous. And this one to be as continuous also. I'm only trying to make some changes in the model to show the example. So finally this part will work also as a jack beam for the structure. Let us see what will happen. Uh, excuse me, not the jack beam, I meant as a portal also as well. So it will be working as a jack beam uh, at the same time as a portal uh, as a portal beam. We'll check the stresses now. That's great now we can see the stress ratios are for all load combinations and then by selecting the deflection I can select I can see graphically with the numbers and the values what are how the deflection is coming for each load combination here which is seems good let us see the moment diagrams for each load combination separately we can we can see the load, uh, the moment diagrams also, MY, MZ, shear Y. By pressing control and the wheel up, I can amplify the diagram. Uh, if I need to see the result uh, by numbers, I can check here on detail. And then I can see for all the members what are the stress issues coming, the moment and the allowable moment. 
thank you very much for watching uh, for any questions or for any queries please do not hesitate to uh, give us a comment on the YouTube videos thank you very much